You got about a minute? Let's talk about manufacturing. Hi, this is Gray. And today on the Manufacturing Minute, let's do another great moment in manufacturing history. Back in 1798, Eli Whitney got a contract from the federal government that uh, in some respects marks the beginning of the Industrial Revolution here in the U.S. Now, Eli Whitney, of course, invented the cotton gin, but this contract wasn't for the cotton gin. It was to produce 10,000 muskets for the army. And what made it unique was that Whitney proposed to use interchangeable parts in his muskets. This was not a new idea. It had been uh, talked about before, but he was the first one to propose it on a large scale. Uh, up until then, almost everything that was made was unique. It was one of a kind, and you could almost think of it as if it was a puzzle, but it was a unique puzzle. Whitney said he wasn't going to make unique puzzles. He was going to make it such that you could take a piece out of one, put it into another, and still have it work. Now, he was a little bit premature in making that promise. He ended up having to trick some congressmen into believing he had achieved it when he really hadn't. But one thing he did achieve in his factory was a new division of labor, where rather than having one craftsman turn out one entire item, he divided the work into smaller pieces so that each person would be responsible for a small part and then it would all come together at the end. And that, of course, is very much like manufacturing as we know it today. And that's why this is a great moment in manufacturing history. So thanks for watching the Manufacturing Minute. Let us know what you think at themfgminute at ncsu.edu. And meanwhile, have a great day.